In the ecliptic reference frame, where the sun is at the origin, the Earth travels half of its orbit in six months. In this reference frame, it is assumed that the position of the star is constant. The position vector of the star is sum of two varying vectors. The vector originating from the Earth can be interpreted in two different ways. It may be considered as a time-dependent vector in the ecliptic frame. It is also the position vector of the star with respect to the reference frame on Earth. Let's write the position vector of the star in terms of its addend vectors on winter and summer locations. The displacement of Earth in the ecliptic frame is given by our summer minus our winter. The displacement of the star in the Earth frame is similarly our summer minus our winter. The equations indicate that the displacement of the star with respect to the Earth frame is opposite of Earth's displacement in the ecliptic frame. This is intuitively what we expect. Consequently, the magnitude of the displacements are equal to each other. In the ecliptic frame, Earth's displacement between January 1st and July 1st is twice the Earth-Sun distance, denoted by L-Sun. So, the magnitude of the displacement of the star in the Earth frame is also 2L-Sun. Using triangle inequality for the Earth, Sun and the star we can obtain a minimum and maximum value for the general distance R, from Earth to the star. The equalities hold when the star, the Sun and the Earth are aligned. Given that Earth's star distance, LS is much greater than Earth's Sun distance L-Sun, an excellent approximation for both distances can be derived using triangle inequality. The small angle between the winter and summer position vectors can be found by subtracting the winter angular distance from the summer one. We can use cosine theorem to relate the distances, displacement of the star, and the computed angle and simplify it using the winter and summer distance values. Since the measured angle is very small, we can expand cosine in a series and keep only the first few terms to obtain the well-known parallax equation. Converting the angle to radian and substituting into the equation, we get the numerical answer. Thank you for watching. Visit starleague.us for Physics Olympiad summer camps and courses.